Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borek, and after the Flyers have continued their struggles after losing back-to-back games to the New York Islanders after falling to the New York Rangers, um, to recap the last three games of a win-loss uh, report, uh, it was 3-2 loss to the Rangers on Saturday, a 4-1 blowout to the Islanders in Long Island, and then a 4-3 shootout loss that the Flyers battled in uh, TK was able to score, and again, Drew continued to play well, and uh, Cam Atkinson continued to play well, and JVR continued to score to higher his trade value, if you if that is so, what the organization is going to try to do coming into this trade deadline, which I would envision probably is with his contract expiring at the next year and the team kind of being in this limbo retooling period. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens going forward. Um, but when it comes to tonight, the Philadelphia Flyers take on the Columbus Blue Jackets. And um, per reports, Jade Voracek is supposed to be um, in the lineup tonight now. Um, even uh, our own Flyers nitty gritty Chris Mayer uh, reported that as well, that Voracek's supposed to be in the lineup this evening. So it's going to be uh, interesting to see uh, what Jake's reaction to tribute is since he's not all about that type of stuff. He'll probably be like, what the hell are you guys doing honoring me like this? Uh, you know I love the city and all that type of stuff and funny stuff Jake Voracek says. But uh, they have Gustav Nyquist, Boone Jenner, Oliver Bjorkstrand, Patrick Laine, Alexander Texier, Jacob Voracek, Max Domi, Jack Roslevic, and em- Emil Benstrom, Eric Robinson, Sean Corrali, and Jaeger uh, Chinikov. Um, that's a left wing to right wing uh, for the first through fourth lines. Then they have Zachary Rewinski at left D, Andrew Peak at right D. Uh, that line has actually started developing fairly well. Uh, Andrew Peak's developed into a pretty um, solid defenseman that got drafted uh, at the 34th pick back in 2016. And uh, Gavin Bay uh Jake Bean is their second, and then Dean Kukon, and uh, right now, uh, he after playing his first game, it's still Jacob Christensen projected, um, after playing his first game, last game, I should say, it's still Jacob Christensen projected um, for the Columbus Blue Jackets on that third defensive line. Uh, when it comes to our Philadelphia Flyers, uh, let's go check out what our Flyers projected lines are for this evening. The Philadelphia Flyers projected lines are Farabee, Giroux, Atkinson, Lindblom, Lawden, Konechny, Van Reeves, Lake Frost, Mayhew, um, Wilman, Bunneman, and McEwen. Uh, then we have Provorov and Braun, York and Sanheim, Yondel and Ristolainen. Um, be interesting to see since they have York or Sanheim where Yondel and Ristolainen is able to do if that's able to work out better. Um, since obviously Yandel hasn't been the squeakiest of clean, but you ain't taking them out until the uh, streak is broken. Um, and then the the other hurt for the Flyers is, of course, Kevin Hayes being out again. It'll be interesting to see if it's Cates, if it's Bunneman, who ends up taking over. Linus Sandin's been very good in the minors, a very wise, smart, just casual, simple, two-way uh, player that doesn't make much mistakes, uh, the, the, that just really plays a good, clean uh, game. So I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up getting a call if some of these other guys uh, struggle or whatnot. Or if, like, Jerry Mayhew he needs to just be a good speech or pesky guy but isn't able to get much beyond that, which he has always been at the NHL level. He's been a killer at the AHL, but always has just been a couple games pinching guy at the uh, NHL level. Uh, maybe you end up seeing Linus Sandin uh, get a call up for him. And then we, of course, still have Sealer and Connaughton, uh on the bench for defense. I would have to think uh, this evening... Uh, since the Columbus Blue Jackets, uh, the big thing about the Blue Jackets that tends to hold them back, uh, even though they're a little bit ahead of the Philadelphia Flyers, they're a point ahead of them and one game up, is their struggles on the road. They're 6-12. and 12. So obviously, uh, the Philadelphia Flyers are going to want to continue to have the Columbus Blue Jackets road struggles continue, which has been a main issue for them this year. They're like a team of two parallels similar to the Stars at home, they're usually playing a really good brand of hockey, and then on the road, not to the necessarily the level of Dallas, where Dallas is really two polars um, at home in a way, but they're still playing very well um, compared to the road play, the Columbus Blue Jackets, where the Flyers have to look to keep them struggling mightily um, on the road, 
and uh, just come out, pressure them early, try to get an early goal, but try to have a good, just kind of jam the neutral zone. This team, the Columbus Blue Jackets, isn't the most finesse. They're not the most consistent offensively. So if you could just kind of jam them, which the Flyers haven't been successful, I know, I do it all season, so you probably think I'm crazy for saying this, but if they can have a successful game, I kind of jam the neutral zone well and kind of pushing the pace the other way. They can beat this Blue Jackets team in Philadelphia. They almost beat an Islanders team that's starting to trend back in the right direction again now that they're starting to get healthy, but they lost in a shootout to a Wallstrom goal and almost beat a good Rangers team. Uh, not almost beat a good, I shouldn't say that, but, but but didn't lose by much to a good Rangers team, even though the Flyers have been struggling mightily of late. So if you're able to just jam the neutral zone tonight and you're able to just play a good, cleaner game, I'm not going to say this team's going to play a great, complete, clean game because we haven't seen that all season, but a cleaner game against this Blue Jackets team, they're in their heads when they're on the road. I've watched a lot of their games on ESPN Plus this year. It seems like when they're on the road and they go down, they get in their heads. So if you can put them down early, that will be huge for the success rate of tonight's game. But I hope you all enjoyed this about 6-minute and 25-second um, video. Please continue to subscribe down below. Above in these views, Widget, this has been Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric. Let's go Flyers. Let's try to get back in the win column tonight against the struggling on the road Columbus Blue Jackets. Peace out, everybody.